So today there's another video for the Windows fans or Windows users, um, whatever you want or whatever I am also because I'm a user, Windows user, also Android user, so I don't know if you should call fanboys or whatever. Uh, today there's no fancy intro because the update installed automatically during the last night, so when I wake up the update was installed already. Um, today's build is uh, 10.5. Uh, 10586. Uh, there's no new features from the last build, the 10581, uh, but there's a few improvements like bugs, bug fixes. Um, it's pretty stable, so let's check it out. Okay guys, so here is the build, let's uh, show you fast the build version, system about, um, and the build is 10586.11, which is the, almost the same build as the um, new Lumias 950 and 950XL, they, have, they will uh, go out to the market, also with the build uh, 10586, but 10586.00. Now we got at least uh, 0 0.11. Uh, there's no such many difference between that, but um, for, for who wants that to know, um, one improvement that I saw is the rem remember on the uh, previous uh, video I showed you uh, when you go on the storage, you couldn't see the, um, the storage you have uh, also here. You, you couldn't choose where you want to save the apps. Um, I can't choose anyway because this Lumia 9, 925 doesn't have a micro SD card. But if I have a micro SD card, I can choose to, to install the apps or um, music, for example, uh, to get them on the SD card and not on the, on the phone itself. Before this one was buggy and uh, I couldn't choose um, my device, I couldn't see my storage. So now I can see I have uh, 8.91 uh, used from 14.6 gigabytes. And if I click, it will go into it and it will search for my apps, everything I have on my phone, and it will tell me what uh, I have more. Like system, of course, gets 5 gigabytes, then apps and games, 2 gigabytes and 61, blah, blah, blah. This takes much some time. And maps here also shows uh, one gigabyte. Um, this was improved. Let's let's let it on the background. Um, one thing that I want them to improve, but maybe maybe it's it's fixed, but maybe uh, only the um, I didn't do a hard reset, so maybe that's the problem. Is when you go in the browser, the browser it's really fast, really good. Um, for me, I don't I don't think it ever crashed on this build. I tested it and never crashed. But for example, let's go in Agile TV, the website for uh, um, CS or whatever, and it's loading. Internet kind of sucks. Uh, now it doesn't show. Come on, don't let me down. Uh, let's try another one, because when you type something, you see this um, option that appears when I go enter. It shows always when opens the site. It sh it was showing always here. Now it doesn't show. Maybe because I restarted my uh, my phone and kind of fixed. But until now, always when I was typing Agile TV, and you can see now. And if I press Enter, it enters the site and was appearing still this one. Maybe some of you have this uh, problem, uh, and you need to like stay like scroll like this for a five seconds and it will disappear. Now it disappeared completely. Uh, it's <laughs> letting me down. <laughs> um, there's um, some improvements that Microsoft said. Um, let's go for example messaging. Um, some people asked me about this. Um, you can see here if you go in the blocked messages. Yeah, I, I couldn't find the settings anywhere in the phone. Only if I go here and if I go, if I go here uh, I have my blocked calls and blocked messages, but even if I go and I don't have anything, 
but if I have something I only can press and delete them so maybe this will update or there's another application for blocked calls or blocked messages but I don't think there's another one because why will be this one here if there, there is another one so I'm not sure about that um, the build overall works pretty fast as you can see pretty stable um, I think this is like the RTM build because this build is uh, going out on the Lumia 950 and 950XL um, of course it's still an insider preview but it's like a, this will be like a final version it works pretty well but of course there's there's no transparency here why Microsoft to do this I want there's transparency here <laughs> but actually for me what I only miss on this phone on this version um, it's only the transparency why they can't do like this here at least not a transparency like aero transparency like on PC but make it like here just a the background and then make it a little darker so when I swipe down I see like I see like here the darker uh, background but maybe we'll get in a future build uh, I'm not sure but let's for now um, let's open some apps and let them on background not close them to see how the phone will perform for example let's go open messages we will open almost everything also the loading uh, kind of disappeared so let's open in eBay everything uh, comes in my mind now goes there then uh, people where this app is a uh, is crap but there's a no not another one Windows Central I kind of go many times on Windows Central but this app from Windows Central is also a little old so it, it, as you can see it loads a bit too much because Windows Central didn't update, it, update this app for quite a long time let's go open TubeCast uh, the application for YouTube uh, this one is kind of my let's say favorite because I kind of like it but also as you can see it opens a little fast but this is uh, you, uh, the application problem and not the um, not the um, Windows the build problem the only thing I dislike about this application is always when I open it's telling me to do you enjoy Tubcast and blah, blah 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 you rate the application I already rated it but it always asks me and that's pretty annoying it annoys me so much let's open 8stream the application for uh, Twitch it's a third party application it opens pretty fast Let, let's open let's open something uh, so you so you see um, how it works uh, let's go simple whatever I hope he doesn't play music. I love that guy. No lag, no nothing. I go here. Let's get it on background also. But I can open more. Let's open OneDrive. Go in the background also. This is the just like a, a mini test so you guys see um, how the apps open and. Uh, if I let them on background how the phone still performs performs really great let's open Adobe Photo Photoshop this one this application has a, a little uh, heavy if I press as you can see I have my applications let's still open more let's open uh, Internet Explorer or Internet Explorer <laughs> shots fired uh, Microsoft Edge but how it's we are used to Internet Explorer Let's open Opera. Opera did some uh, updates and now the, um, the application kind of works. Doesn't crash anymore. But as you can see, it opens a bit slow. In the previous build, I opened Opera to show you how, uh, how hard it opens. But at, the, at that time, it opened actually pretty fast. But now, normally, it opens like this Opera. So I well, hope there will be any improvements on that. Let's open store. Store for me actually opens pretty good, pretty normal. Let's see if you have any updates. Updates on uh, Windows Store. Um, there's no anymore like they stop or you can't un you can't install them. You can even let's update. So we have uh, applications starting download. Adding. We have applications now uh, updating, installing. 
Um, we have a bunch of another applications opened. Let's still open more. I don't care. Uh, let's open pictures. Um, oh, and what they improved? What they improved is also the camera. The camera was already improved on the old on the other build, but now it's also pretty good. As you can see, it moves. For me, maybe it's uh, on the video it shows a little uh, buggy, but for me it op it's pretty okay. It, this was like the same on the um, Windows 8, 8 or 8.1. Let's go in the video. Let's even film something. As you can see, it films pretty good. The stabilization. It has digital stabilization. Maybe you, you know that already. Uh, oh, let's open the camera and let it on background. I wanted to do that, actually. Uh, let's open, oops, um, weather app, let it on background. And what, also what, what, I, what I want to, to talk about is the um, battery on this, on previous build, also on this build. The battery, it's um, kind of the same as on previous build. I mean, on the previous build, they, they, they fixed the battery. Maybe it's not like 100% fixed, like on Windows 8 or 8.1. It's not such so good as Windows 8.1, but I think it will never be as good as in Windows 8 or 8.1. Because let's uh, be real, Windows 8 or 8.1, it was a little more basic, didn't have so many um, settings or didn't have this transparency, uh, this um, background, um, and all more settings. It will eat more battery, of course. Even the email, for example, I have like five or four emails. I don't care if you see them. One, two, three, four, five, six emails I have. They also synchro they synchronize whenever I get an email. So of course this will eat battery. So, and even this phone, for example, when I uh, this phone was uh, come out when was Windows 8, not even 8.1. So the phone was built for the Windows 8, then it came Windows 8.1, the battery was, was a little worse, and now Windows 10, a little worse. Uh, but even even like that, when it was on Windows 8, the battery wasn't so so good on this device. Because the battery is like 2000 milliampers. <coughs> I'm sorry, is, the battery is like 2000 milliampers, so um, don't expect to be... Um, so good the battery at least on this device because the battery on previous builds was like I said was already not so good and now of course it, it it will be a little worse but it's pretty okay as you can see it's 4 p.m. and I I took it from charge from morning and I have now 52 percent and I played with it a little now I even play more because I show you the applications um, it's 50% until 4 p.m. in this device it's okay before I on previous builds how they were they were worse I should like charge two times until now until 4 p.m. but let's open the calendar as you can see the applications open pretty fast I don't know for me it's pretty fast I don't see any major bugs or um, issues I you don't see this more loadings let's uh, close it there the clocks also appear a little uh, slow but when you lock it you don't see anymore that loading as you can see the applications are still let's close them so as you can see my point I open these applications is so you can see um, how the applications work uh, let's open VLC doesn't matter uh, also some apps applications will open a little slower than other ones because it also depends on how the application was developed um, also not only the if, the if an application opens very slow that's not like um, oh it's win it's windows problem or it's this build problem yeah it might be but it, it might be also the application problem because the application was developed for Windows 8 or in Windows 8.1 and now you are using Windows 10 so of course there will, there will be always some uh, issues but at least they open they work Twitter but Twitter it's like an updated application I don't know why I even use it 
my account on Twitter I don't even use it so much but whatever uh, this was the build guys um, if you have any questions or if you if I missed something of course I missed something I always after I end the video I remember oh crap I missed that that part <laughs> so if you have any questions um, you can ask me in the comments to search for some settings you might uh, want for example uh, one person asked me for the blocked messages and blocked um, calls but um, this is the build I do think it's it um, it works pretty good it's pretty fast pretty stable um, and I do think this will be uh, the official version uh, but we will see so don't hesitate to, to install this build guys uh, I I'm pretty sure you will not have any major problems with this build and even with the old build the 10.5.8.1 so thank you guys for watching and I catch you in the next one